What's up, people? And today we're continuing our reaction to Thanks Killing. Sorry, I didn't finish the video um, last time. Because I really was getting tired and I really needed to go to bed. So, here's the rest of the video. And her paramour for the third kill. Then this movie goes the Jack Frost route, which means it's totally fucking awful and has Turkey take over having sex with Allie. Only here the gag is that she's too dumb to realize her partner has been replaced by a turkey. Yeah, hey, uh, future horror filmmakers, if you ever think of having your anthropomorphic novelty killer have sex with a victim as a gag, yeah, maybe just don't. The tasteless scene ends with Turkey killing Allie, of course, I guess by breaking her neck. This is a real fucking weird movie, guys. The bottom shelf mystery gang gets to Allie's house, where Johnny rushes in to check on her, and Darren fucks up everyone's favorite joke. At least her legs were harder to close than John Benet Ramsey's legs. Johnny comes back out to confirm Allie's death, and they decide to go to Kristen's dad's house, thinking he will certainly have some books about Turkey, since he, uh, since he owns books, I guess. They run off to go there, but little do they know, Turkey's beat them to the Thanksgiving punch. He's greeted at the door by the dad, who's dressed as a turkey for some ball he's going to. Wonder if the fake mustache is part of it. Turkey's expert Groucho disguise gets him on the inside, where he has some tea with the dad. This is actually a decently funny scene. Fucking weather. But it was nice today, huh? You just say fucking? Yeah, got a laugh out of me. That's what happens when you spend the first half of your movie drastically lowering your audience's standards. The scene ends with Turkey deciding to kill the dad and doing so off screen as his screams are heard of plenty. And although his death is off screen, it's actually totally okay because when the kids get there, Turkey opens the door wearing the dad's face. Now that is some Hannibal Lecter quality face stitching, so obviously it fools the kids who greet Turkey like they're not staring at a bird with shrunken human face skin all over his face. The movie burns a few minutes with a decently funny reading montage set to that same knock off genuine music from the opening credits until finally Darren finds the book ex machina they've been looking for. Says they have to destroy a talisman or some shit. Whatever guys, you're here to see the stupid killer turkey, not get into the finer details of Thanks Killing's mythology. When Billy wanders off board, he comes across Turkey and the faceless sheriff, which actually doesn't look half bad. It takes him a minute, but Billy finally puts it all together. If that's the sheriff, then then you must be Turkey! The turkey talks some jive and Billy attacks him, holding him in place long enough for Johnny to detail his minute. But then Turkey wriggles free and runs away. Billy randomly decides to leave too, and while he's wandering down the street hungry, he starts hallucinating a clip art turkey roast on the ground. I guess it's Turkey casting some kind of Thanksgiving spell, because after Billy slides it down his gullet with some grade A pantomiming, he gets a little tummy ache, and out pops Turkey, being a little chest baster. His Billy Killy includes the tagline of the movie. Gobble gobble, motherfucker. And then he- Now that's what I call foul play. Oh, okay, Turkey. Let's limit it to one pun for death, all right, you little asshole? The others find Billy's body, and Darren goes into hysterics over it for a solid five minutes, and then he has a flashback montage set to the most hilariously low-effort song anyone's ever made up. Seriously, here's a sample. Billy, 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 Billy you are my, my best friend. What the f what is this fucking movie, guys? Turkey is making himself a salad in a teepee he's pitched on the side of the road. The kids find it, since it's a teepee on the side of the road. There's the teepee, guys, on the side of the road. They put together a plan using Johnny's real convenient pocket rope, as well as his pocket fire, a plan that involves Darren doing all the goddamn work. Johnny and Kristen burst in and make fun of Turkey's salad, even though it's probably delicious with all them leafy greens inside. Darren comes from behind and ties Turkey up with the rope, and the kids start reading some chant from the book they found to, uh, I, I don't know, take away Turkey's invincibility? I guess that succeeds, so they then prepare to burn turkey with one of the most bizarrely delivered jokes I've ever heard. You still got that lighter, Johnny? Yeah, I got it. I'm ready to see this cock burn. You mean turkey, right? No, I mean like a dick, not like the animal. What? Turkey tries to run away, but finds himself face to face with Oscar's gun. Oscar shoots him, and Turkey flies into a trash can where he appears to be dead. Great shot, Oscar. You, uh, you want to fix your headband? Hey, go ahead and take like a minute to... No? Okay. All right, cool. Maybe if you had, you'd have noticed Turkey's eyes glowing green, dun dun dun. But nobody notices, so they all leave. To celebrate the death of Turkey and help them totally ignore the fact that their parents are dead, the kids go to Kristen's house, where her dead dad is still lying around, and they watch freaking Night of the Living Dead. I, I guess because that movie is public domain and can be used for free? Johnny asks Kristen to be his girlfriend while Darren stares at them like a serial killer, and when she says yes, the two of them fall to the ground in a tizzy of love and start fucking right there on the ground, I guess, since Darren gets the hell out of there. He goes to the kitchen, and while he's looking in the fridge, he gets a meat thermometer in the ass, thanks to Turkey, who's back and positively glowing with radioactive Thanksgiving cheer. He attacks Darren, and in an actually gruesome death, Turkey rips out Darren's tongue with his beak. They take their time with it, and it's a decent-looking effect, so good on them. Then he pecks into Darren's chest like he's Turkey the Woodpecker until he finally rips out his heart and tosses his 
it onto the kitchen floor. Darren's death concludes with a hallucination of Billy inviting him off to have it, where he promises, No turkeys up here, Darren. When Johnny comes into the kitchen and finds Darren's body, Turkey wastes no time stabbing him with an electric carver. By which I mean Johnny holds an electric carver up against his own stomach while a turkey puppet shakes around near the handle. But whatever, guys. Thanks, killing! Kristen runs in and Turkey gets in a one-liner. I almost come back for seconds. Before she bird slaps him away from her man. Kristen helps Johnny outside where they run into a shack in the backyard that looks like it might have Brie Larson and a kid inside. Turkey comes after them with his purple POV shot, but Kristen's waiting for him with a makeshift flamethrower. She lets it loose and lights him on fire, and while Turkey lies there burning, to death, Johnny dies from his wounds in the kitchen. Actually kind of thought he might make it, but I guess they're sticking to the slasher playbook and only keeping a final course girl. Kristen takes a pipe and whacks Turkey with it, sending him right into a nice big pre-set up steak, at which he burns to death. The turkey curse supposedly finished once and for all. Oscar congratulates her, she eats one of Turkey's legs. Please let this be over. Wait, what is this? What are these totally random characters sitting around a table doing? And this guy has a stupid turkey hat on? Actually, I'd wear that. Whatever, their turkey shakes around, it's turkey, he says a one-liner. Do I smell sequel? Beyond! And that's how you make a movie for less than four grand. Let's see how many kills that buys you and get to the numbers. One shitty turkey and ten humans died in things killing. The humans were seven guys and three gals, so more than two to one dudes. With a poultry runtime of 67 minutes, that's a human death on average every 6.7 minutes. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Darren. That's some gnarly fake tongue action there, and then to go even further and peck out his heart? That's the kind of overdone I want my turkey to have. Dull machete for lamest kill will be Allie and her next nap. I've seen a chiropractor be more violent. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is thanks killing. I don't want to admit how many stupid lines have stuck with me, or how many times I've sung the Billy 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 song to myself, so I won't. If you like awful movies, go check it out. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this holiday surprise episode of The Kill Count. Friday is Alien Resurrection, and until then, I'm James A. Janice. This has been The Kill Count. Hey guys, thanks a lot for watching my Kill Count for Thanks Killing. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this little treat. Sorry for the lack of an awesome background. If I could, I would have a life-size replica of turkey, obviously. But this shit's all my grocery store had. Billy, Billy, Billy. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and please don't ask me to watch Thanks Killing 3. Well, that was something. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.